there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today we are doing the July 2019 BoxyCharm unboxing. This is my box this month. It got a little crushed in the mail, so we'll see what's going on. I actually did open it already because I wanted to try out the eyeshadow that was in it. So if you wanna see how I did this look, I will link it up here. All right, here's my little card. This month's theme is Au Natural. I have, I don't know if you can see, but I got variation number five, which I think is the same number I got last month. I can't remember, but maybe I'm just like in the five group. So the first thing we will talk about is the Butter London Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like this. Serving queendom realness, bring out your inner goddess in Butter London's Vibrant Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. Enchant with six highly pigmented, long-lasting shades, whether you're feeling like a diva or temptress. These cruelty-free shadows pair effortlessly, effortless, effortlessly to create imaginative looks that will make a powerful entrance. This is a retail value of $32. Um, like I said, I did this look with this palette here. I used this shade, this shade, and these two here. Um, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's highly pigmented, especially this deep brown here was pretty disappointing. Um, I really had to build it up to get to just this coverage here, and it looks like it should be a lot darker. The mattes didn't blend super great, um, especially this brown. Maybe it was just the brown in there that's just kind of a disappointment. Um, the teal was fine. The shimmers though blended very nicely and they did have really nice color payoff. So I would say um, these four here, I'll probably end up getting more use than these two. I mean, I've got brown and I've got teal that work a lot better in other palettes. Next is a skincare product. This is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Get a shot of green goodness with this treatment mask that nourishes, smooths, and brightens for softer, smoother, more radiant skin. Um, this has a value of $35. Um, let's see, it looks like it's formulated with avocado and broccoli seed oils. The last time I had something with broccoli oil in it, it smelled so bad. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, rich in omega fatty acids to help support skin's moisture barrier and vitamin C for bright, fresh looking complexion. So it seems like it might have a little bit of a exfoliant in it. Let me see how it smells. Ooh, it actually does not smell bad. It just smells kind of medicine-y. All right, let's see what the consistency is here. Okay, it's not like a clay mask at all. Is this one you wash off? Okay. Remove after 10 minutes. So it's not like a clay mask, but it's gonna look all, you know, spa and green. Um, it does smell really, really nice. I will say that. Like very, I think it's got some tea tree oil in it. It must. It doesn't actually have the ingredients listed on here, which I don't love, um, but it does say that there will be a little bit of tingling to it and I can definitely feel that. So I'm thinking there must be a tea tree oil in there just based on the aroma and the tingle factor. Right, next is this baby, and I always love getting brush sets, especially when they come from Luxy. And this is the Gaia Three Piece Brush Set. Create the perfect look with your new eco-friendly Luxy brush set. Apply foundation with the Luxy 510 foundation brush, blend your eyeshadow with the 250 large blending brush and precisely apply color to your crease with the 246 precision crease brush. This set is a retail value of $30. So I will say, I do not like or use this style of foundation brush. I don't understand it for foundation. It's like you pay, just paint it on, you don't blend or blur with it, so I don't get it. I've heard a lot of people use this style of brush when they get them and things like this. They use it to put face masks on. So I think these two are going to be good buddies. On the other hand, this looks like just a nice plain old blending brush. It's not tapered. It's real flat, um, but it's got the usual luxy soft bristles. I'll have to use it to see how it goes. And I'm here for this one. This is a really nice little small um, flat brush, which is going to be great for um, crease work. The next item is another Ulfra liquid lip. I've gotten at least three of these in boxy charms. This is in the shade Santorini, and this value is a $20 value. It's a little bit Barbie-ish, so I mean, it could be fun with the right look, I guess, but this is not one that I would definitely reach for very often. And the final item I'm very excited to see is 
the Kojin Doe Spa Cleansing Water Cloths. I have used these before and they are so nice. They're pricey, but they're really, really nice. Um, these are convenient cotton cleansing spa water cloths. They remove waterproof makeup and impurities while nourishing the skin with mineral rich cleansing spa water. This is a, how many pack? A 10 pack and this value is $17. So like I said, for makeup remover cloths, they're pricey, but I really like them. Okay, so that brings the total value of this box to $134, which yeah, I mean, I guess that's the actual value of it. Um, it's a $21 a month box. So the things I got out of it, I would say is definitely worth $21. Um, I'll for sure use the cleansing cloths and the mask and I'll get definite use out of those brushes. Um, I'm not sure how much I love the palette and this one is going to be very, very rarely used. But that's kind of how it is when you get subscription boxes. You're gonna love some stuff and you're gonna just be like, eh, on a few other things. But overall, this was a pretty good box. I would say I'm gonna definitely get use out of the things. There have been months where I literally gave away everything in the box because I was just like, nope, none of these are good. But I'd say, um, you know, 70, 30 on the plus side, this is a pretty good box. And for like, and for $21 a month, it's fun to just try new things. Like I would never pick up this pink lip color, but who knows, I might end up loving it. So if you're interested in BoxyCharm, I'll pop a link down below. You can check it out for yourself. Personally, I feel that for $21 a month, I get a good value. I've certainly tried some brands I would have never looked at before that I really, really love. It's just kind of fun to get something um, as a special treat for yourself, whether it's BoxyCharm or any of the other months. I definitely, definitely suggest trying a subscription box service. It's always fun. And with that, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I will love you forever. Have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.